high Aries. So today we're going to go ahead and do a love reading for you. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. Seems like a bit of a hibernation stage, okay? Or you've been, yeah, you've probably been here. Battle of the Blues at the bottom. Take steps towards positive change. And then we have Peacock, raise your standards. Yeah, I feel like right now the Divine Feminine energy is really at a place where I'll just say she, but it could be a he, but she is on a journey to better understand herself, I'm hearing, and to begin to open up and begin to explore. I feel like there's been this almost like ice energy, kind of like a hibernation or a frozen uh, energy. And maybe you found that you've been in this for a while because I feel like with this energy coming up, they were showing me as we transition from the season. So it could be as we're talking here, as we're moving from, I think it's at least where I am again, from summer to fall. Um, during this time, there's been a lot changing for the divine feminine energy. And when I'm looking at this card, I'm being shown a mirror. So this could be self-reflection, a lot of self-reflection the divine feminine is going through, a lot of um, pondering, uh, self-respect trying to move into more of a space of honoring and respecting herself i am actually being shown there could be some connection here maybe the divine feminine is being encouraged to connect more with the ancestors i'm being shown ancestry here uh, maybe going back into <clears throat> you know learning about your lineage or there's just quite a bit of healing happening on a deeper level that is happening right now for the divine feminine and i feel like this is actually helping her to make positive changes and to really start it's like i feel also to step into a more pure more uh almost like actually what they're showing me too is for many of you if you because when you first came onto this journey or when you first realized that you were on this journey um there was a certain feeling you had maybe it was when you met your counterpart or there was a certain feeling you had and it just kind of made you i don't know what the word for it would be it just kind of initiated something within you it sparked something within you i'm being told that she is returning back to that returning back to a time that feels more like that or feels more like the beginning stages or feels more pure feels more innocent feels more free um as i'm looking at this white flower here too so you can even find that you're kind of coming full circle in many different ways you're coming full circle and Definitely also a strong level of uh, boundaries here is coming up for the Divine Feminine. Being able to speak her truth more, being able to have um, better boundaries. So what else, Spirit, for the Divine Feminine right now? Yeah, I keep being taken back though too. I'm hearing the word guilt and shame and I'm being taken back to the family tree kind of is what they're showing me so this very well may could be very well may could be very well could be um, a lot of healing taking place again around uh, certain patterns that were in your family that you are maybe consciously aware of okay or you're just realizing that a lot of these things have actually come from that in your life and so there's a huge healing energy taking place specifically around when i'm looking at this card here i'm also being shown almost like um a lack of trust or difficult situations that didn't allow her to trust easily and they came from family primarily um came from yeah family The word poison is coming to me as well. We have vacation. Take time for relaxation and adventure. Because once again, what I'm hearing is that it's hurt. It's your time. So there's a feeling. See how we're going from the blue to the orange and the yellow. It's like this is your time to rediscover. See, it's like a child here too. 
rediscover that part that has been lost at some point. So let's see, Spirit, tell us a little bit more about this, please. Tell us a little bit more about the Divine Feminines. They're showing me um, building blocks. Like there's a very much of a building blocks energy. Yeah, Six of Swords I'm shown in my mind's eye here. So Six of Swords and I'm hearing the word building blocks. So it's really about a journey. It's about a process of not leaping towards the end, but just taking small steps to get there. So you could find right now, it's very much of a journey. <clears throat> See the Ten of Pentacles reverse, something with the family here, ancestors, healing, generational patterns. Um, but it's a building blocks energy. And, and I feel... Taking it day by day. So there's a feeling of the Divine Feminine also coming slowly out of this here, the blues. And taking it day by day, really allowing themselves to take it day by day, whatever that could mean for you. So let's see, what else for the Divine Feminines right now? And I'm also hearing too, on your journey, there could be this um, almost like coming to a level of acceptance for certain patterns that have happened. Certain patterns, again, could be rooted in the family, but I'm being told it also could be, yeah, the death card here. Yes, Queen of Cups reverse, exactly. Temperance reverse, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Um, I'm being told that there's this kind of Okay, so this is interesting. They're actually showing me that there's a certain moment here in the timeline that has happened either most recently or is about to happen that helps to sort of close gaps in areas where there's been wounds. So if, if this makes sense with the Queen of Cups, the Temperance Reverse, again here, the Battle of the Blues, in a way of like, let's say there's been, maybe with the Divine Masculine, maybe with other people, there's been how they're showing it is like let's say that your energy like i'm trying to explain this like around your aura and it's like your energy had been spread out so far and thin that it kind of was almost leaking out of you and what I'm being told with the death card here is that there was certain moment, certain time here that happened or is happening currently maybe that is allowing to close those gaps and kind of seal that energy. So in other words, it's like, I guess you can say forgiveness too. I do feel a lot of divine feminines could be stepping into acceptance, surrender, forgiveness, but also recognizing that you can't change the past. Okay, I'm also hearing the grass is greener or the grass is not greener, but either way, the way they're showing it is the past is gone and there's no need to feel pity or to wallow over what once happened or what once, yeah, what once happened or how things once were. And that's the feeling I'm getting. So this is actually a really big change happening with the death card that is helping to release those patterns and release those behaviors that may have come from many different things. You know, like I said, it could be from the family, it could be from um, <clears throat> many different things. But with the Queen of Cups in reverse, the way they're showing it again is it's kind of like the water was not contained. So the emotions were not contained properly or the sensitivity of the Divine Feminine was kind of let out. And I do feel with the Death card, there's a sense of being able to kind of hold her own frame in a stronger way. And yes, I'm hearing not being taken advantage of. So that could have very well been a pattern, maybe a pattern for her. Uh, and as I'm looking at this card too, I'm being shown lots of creative activities like piano and painting and different creative ideas. So this could even be too, um, you know, like I said, with the Queen of Cups is actually a very creative, the Queen of Cups can be very sensitive, very creative, very uh, artistic. And it's almost like instead of giving that energy away, 
it's being channeled now into something more productive, into those creative ideas or activities. Um, and I keep hearing that same message that there's a divine feminine here. This could be for only a few of you or maybe for many um, who's following the same footsteps as some family member. I don't know who that is. If it comes up anything more, we'll explore it. But I feel there's something about a specific divine feminine energy who's following in the footsteps of a family member um, or many family members, which I think is speaking more to this divine feminine breaking that pattern. So more of like a pattern that kept things and I'm being told this Divine Feminine too could be, I'm seeing a Raven spirit next to her, um, could be one to step more into her power than anybody else maybe in the family had, um, or there's just a, a lot of strength coming from her and exploring her spiritual side and Being able to do that yeah so the emperor in reverse here we have the ten of pentacles reversed again so yeah four of wands so let's see the emperor in reverse there's a specific message here too that some divine feminine could have lost herself in i'm picking up again this could either be a father figure someone from the family a father figure or this was a masculine person, possibly a divine masculine, but some masculine person who made her very guarded and afraid to love and to live. Yeah, two of wands, three of pentacles, three of swords, the bottom beneath that. So let's see, Spirit, tell me a little bit more for the Divine Feminine here. What else? What else, please, for the Divine Feminine? I'm seeing also Divine Feminine here. Um, this could be actual or it could be metaphorical, but I'm seeing moving in or going into like a like a little cottage or a little cabin out in the woods or something where there was nothing else around so with the vacation here that could be that there's just a vacation a temporary vacation um, where this is actually helping to put things into perspective I'm hearing helping to detach and to pull the energy within. This could also be, uh, again, a strong connection to the earth, a strong connection to spending more time out in nature, spending more time to her roots, kind of, and getting back to that with the two of wands. I'm being told there may have been an ultimatum, or there may be an ultimatum um, with this three of swords, three of pentacles. This can go a variety of different ways. It could be that someone in your life gave you an ultimatum, or you have given someone, maybe the divine masculine, an ultimatum. And I feel like I'm hearing spirits say this is how things will change, or this is how things will mend. So this is the, the right thing to do. If this is you and you've done this, that was the right thing for you to do because what it's helping you to do is break this pattern once and for all. Um, some of you may have already done this though a while ago, it depends. Or you may have done this with another, you know, some other masculine in your life. Uh, someone who you were married to or even a family member. You may have decided or you may soon be deciding to walk into this path here uh, I'm hearing whatever happens, happens. 
So this Two of Wands feels very much like you see the mountains in the distance too. It feels like this Divine Feminine needs time for relaxation, adventure, um, taking time and space to herself. Tell us a little bit more, Spirit. Okay, this just flipped out. So don't take life so seriously. Those guards and walls you've built around your heart will only prevent you from enjoying life to the fullest. Let your hair down and go have some fun. See, and that's also, if you look at this Two of Wands, this person's looking back on the past, looking back on the Emperor Reverse, looking back on the Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles. So, yeah, and then this, this girl is looking forward. So this could very well also be the same message I had been mentioning that there's been many patterns in the heart, many patterns from the past where it's like these experiences have made the heart bleed and made the heart feel very painful over time. Um, but with this death here in the middle of the reading, again, it feels like there's a pretty big transformation that is taking place right now. Um, And, and they're bringing me back to that message again about acceptance. I'm hearing nobody's journey is easy and you're beginning to understand that more. Okay, or this could also be advice coming up from spirit for the divine feminine to try to be more grateful and um, being grateful for where you are, for how far you've come, for your journey, because it feels that... It's like it's not, you know, it's, it's a feeling of not looking back and feeling regretful over the chances that we did not take, you know. So that's kind of what the advice is from Spirit too. Okay, so what else for the Divine Feminine? Spirit, please, or show me a beaver. So beavers for me are hard work, are hard workers working hard um, to build something, to build their life, to build their security, their home. So this could be a time of rebuilding as well, rebuilding your whatever it is, your home, your career, your life, your home. Um, and I feel like uh, they're also showing Pisces here too, so that could be for somebody, but Let's see, what else for the Divine Feminine? <laughs> I just heard a spirit say, no more Mrs. Nice Girl. Or Miss Nice Girl. So that could be, I mean, that could resonate with some of you with this Queen of Cups here. Maybe you've been too nice or you feel like you've been too taken advantage of before. Um, and yes we have take a look at your relationship with intimacy this area may be in need of healing balancing or attention addictions codependency and emotional unavailability may be sabotaging your connections and self-respect something happened i keep hearing something has happened here there's been some pivotal moment that has ended something or is no longer going to return back to the past because uh, i'm hearing it's there's no more to that or it's over now or whatever that is we have you're meant to create more material abundance and prosperity because you deserve it your hard work is paying off just remember to think big and know that you deserve wealth yeah so i feel also this has a lot to do as well for the divine feminine to move into a place of I'm hearing cultivating an inner sacred space within or cultivating inner peace, which will help her to lead to more material, like I said, the beaver, three of pentacles and this here, um, create more, it's like it's reflecting outwards, you know, if we feel stable from within, if we feel in, inward inner peace from within, then that's what kind of reflects outside. If we feel this way from within, then the outside world will always kind of give that back to us and reflect the same uh, patterns. So I feel... They're telling me that this Two of Wands is right now, nothing has been... you. So you may find that right now you sort of haven't taken that plunge forward or you haven't taken a big step forward. Um, but you're kind of in the middle of a process of 
starting to think about that, starting to think about how can I create this more uh, abundance in my life? How can I create and cultivate a more abundant life? Or how can I raise my standards, build my business, or even I just, I'm hearing too with the gratitude, okay? Be grateful for the things you sometimes take for granted. Uh, something with this Three of Pentacles about gratitude. So, so let's get a few more here and see if there's anything else. Is there anything else for this reading for the Divine Feminines? Only time will tell. manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance so what is this spirit focus on Focus on what? Focus on, I'm hearing, focus on what matters or focus on, okay. Yeah, like I said, they're bringing me back to the message about step-by-step. -step. It's a step-by-step -step process right now. So just know that only time will tell when it comes to situations from the past that I'm being told have gone away from your life. So this could be the divine masculine, this could be other things that are no longer a part of your life. Like let's say you've lost this person or, or friends or something that you kind of feel is no longer a part of your life. There is a feeling of the divine feminine energy accepting and understanding that only time will tell. But in the meantime, there's a feeling of holding such an energy of gratitude and um, lots of clearing happening in the throat area, I'm being told, which is helping to helping to almost like tear down these walls so that the miracles can start to come in so that there's not so much of a stuck energy with this emperor in reverse stuck on experiences from the past stuck on that energy from the past but more so I'm hearing making room for self-improvement continuing continuing to do that So I hope that this reading could help you. Yeah, the Fool coming up at the bottom, Divine Feminine. Um, I will explore more of this in the extended. I will leave the link down below to my Patreon if you're interested, if you feel like this is for you or if you are, um, yeah, if you want to join. So we're going to look more and just see what else you need to know about these um, and kind of look more. So thanks so much for tuning in and have a great rest of the night. Take care and lots of love.